My name is Ernest Tori Salinas, and I'm an earth sculptor. I don't really like see myself as saving the planet or anything. It's more so of just showing people what you could do with what we already have. While some art lives in galleries and museums collecting dust, we found a Bay Area artist whose work lives outdoors. From Envision in Costa Rica to EDC in Florida, Pity is a fixture in the festival community. All this material was all falling down fences from the hurricane, Hurricane Irma. It just felt right when that material presented itself, when it was just laying out there for months. For something for me to use that has such a destructive background, it's beautiful to kind of give that another life and show it in another sense. Destruction can be beautiful. I really love to work with driftwood. Each piece of wood just comes from different parts of the world and each piece is so unique and beautiful and has so much character. I hope to inspire just the style of artwork as far as recycled, reclaimed materials. You don't really need to go out and buy new materials. There is such an abundance of material everywhere if you just look for it. Part of the main intentions for when I design for these sculptures is to kind of like create a portal for people when they're looking at this piece. Just kind of like the same way, like music, how it makes you feel, it makes you feel happy or sad. Like with these sculptures, it's kind of almost the same way where you can create an image visually for people to, to kind of unlock certain things that have been in their mind. Albany Bulb is like a long stretch of land. It overlooks the whole bay. It's completely surrounded by water. It's beautiful. With this piece, so I wanted to bring the animal element into it. 2018, what animal is related to the Chinese zodiac? And ironically enough, it was the year of the wood dog. And a lot of people bring their dogs there to walk. Very calm position, slain, paws out. And then having the tail can just wrap around right here. What kind of dog do you picture it? Definitely like some sort of a wild. So it just felt so right and perfect. I had already just seen the vision of this dog just laying there looking at the city. <laughs> when I first started, I was actually pretty stoked about it being only there temporarily for people that were there to witness it, to experience that for that one time. And then there's also the other part of me where I feel like pieces that I make deserve to live a longer life actually live out as long as it can and with the natural materials it's almost like you can just like leave it and it'll just slowly decompose and live its life that way.